So I, I am a sculptor and I was, um, I was working a lot with agricultural tools and making sculpture about the disappearance of farmland. And I think that's really what brought me here because I'd never intended to be a farmer or an orchardist, but it is what has happened. Um, I moved here, fell in love with the land, and was so moved by the orchard. The orchard was abandoned, really, untended. There, there was poison ivy growing up the trees, brambles growing between the rows, and the trees hadn't been pruned in, in at least five years, maybe more. So um, that first year, that first fall, I, I moved here in July, there were no apples. And I was really stunned that there was just not an apple in the orchard. So it just grew on me, this desire to bring the orchard back. And how could I do that organically? I was just not going to spray some kind of, some toxic spray. Um, the organic movement was really just in its infancy. I didn't know that much about it, but I, but I knew enough to know that that's what I wanted to do. So the first step really was pruning, and I got some help, and we started pruning. And even after pruning that first year, we, well, we had maybe 100 trees, 100 dead trees that had to be removed. We had five big burn piles, I mean, just towering burn piles. But there were still maybe 200 trees in the orchard. But after that first year, there, there, were no, um, there were no apples. So it took a while, but I did meet someone in town who used to manage an orchard. In an, in, um, he used to manage Neshoba Winery's orchard. And he knew, he knew, didn't know anything about organic apples, but he knew about the apple pests and diseases and what it would take to bring this orchard back. So he agreed to help me. And that's really, Dennis Wagner um, was a great help in the beginning. And that's how we started. So um, over the years, uh, I've been um, really helping the trees by uh, fertilizing, getting them healthier. And that has really made the biggest difference with disease. That in the beginning, we did spray an organic pesticide several times in the season, but now, I think last year, I only sprayed once. We do use something called Surround, which is a white clay, and that we use in the spring for a particular beetle, the plum curculio, that is really the bane of apple growers in New England. And one of the reasons it was really impossible to grow organic apples in New England until Surround was um, packaged or invented or someone came up with this idea that you could spray clay and coat the small apple, when it was only three to six millimeters in size, would be a physical barrier and a disguise for this beetle so that it would not come in and lay its eggs. And then as the larvae grew in the fruit, they would all drop because you could lose 90% of your crop to the plum curculio. So we do spray surround. But a lot of our effort is spraying um, nutrient sprays, seaweed, and um, different trace minerals, calcium, all the things that, in a way, that our body needs, we're providing the plants with. So that as 
the fruit develops, it is healthy. And then when we eat it, it's healthy. It's nutrient dense. It's, um, it's something that's really good for our bodies. So I feel like now we're actually going beyond the idea of organic, which is simply that we don't use any chemicals, but we're really trying to make what we grow very um, healthy for, for everyone.